and not her brother husband, the other one. Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar is firing back at Republican Lauren Boebert after some unhinged comments on the House floor. Now, these comments were made during the debate over whether or not to censure Gosar over the video he put out of his face over an anime character killing a character with the face of AOC. It was so stupid. I covered it before. It clearly, knowing who's posting it really is the issue there with Gosar and his connections to the far right. But if you want a refresher on that, you can go watch that video. But these comments are so absolutely ridiculous. I'm laughing because to me it is so absurd, but you can see how comments like this are dangerous and just further fuel the right wing. So let me play these for you and discuss them and then get to Ilhan Omar's response to this. Democrat policies are so pathetic and have done so poorly that the left has nothing else to do but troll the internet looking for ways to get offended and then try to target members and strip them of their committees. This is a dumb waste of the House's time. But since the Speaker has designated the floor to discuss members' inappropriate actions, shall we? The Jihad Squad member from Minnesota has paid her husband, and not her brother husband, the other one, over a million dollars in campaign funds. All right, Jihad Squad and brother husband. <laughs> we'll uh, respond to this in a second. It is so dumb. Um, but first, let's pretend, just, just imagine for a second, that the roles were reversed, that... I don't know, AOC put out a video of her uh, murdering Lauren Boebert. What do you think Lauren Boebert's response to that would be? Come on. <laughs> For her to claim that this is not something worth uh, debating or not something, not a person worth expelling or, or censoring is so dishonest. Of course, they'd be freaking the hell out. They freak out for a lot less. In the video I covered of uh, first discussing Gosar's video, I show a Fox News clip where the anchor is mad that Cori Bush said that Joe Manchin was being anti-black by being against the budget bill. Like, they freaked out over that. Of course they would freak out over a cartoon showing AOC murdering a Republican congressperson. Like, get out of here. But let's get to the, um, the meat of what she said here, <laughs> for a lack of a better term, and then we'll get to Ilhan Omar's response to it. So first here from Newsweek, Boebert was referencing Omar's campaign paying E Street Group, a political consultancy firm co-owned by her husband, Tim Minette, $2.9 million to work on her 2020 re-election campaign. She also referenced an unsubstantiated claim that Omar married her brother for immigration purposes, as well as controversial remarks the congresswoman has made regarding Israel and Palestine. All right. Um, first of all, the, the remarks... They're, they were not controversial. I don't even want to get back into that. That's a whole other goddamn video. But this here, let me... Um, this is so stupid. Th there's no truth that she married her brother. This is like a big right-wing conspiracy. It is so ridiculous. Now, this is true. Uh, but she met him while they were working together. So, and and actually, after that campaign she terminated the contract with her husband's consulting firm. So it's not like, you know, they're doing it to try and make, get rich quick together or something like <laughs> she met him while they were working together because he's a political consultant. Now let's get to Ilhan Omar's response to this, because this is where things get a little more wild. She tweets out here, Luckily, my dad raised me right. Otherwise, I might have gone to the floor to talk about this insurrectionist who sleeps with a pervert. I am grateful I was raised to be a decent human and not a deprived person who shamefully defecates and defiles the House of Representatives. God damn. <laughs> this is uh, this is true. This is true. And it's not even just about her husband. Lauren Boebert's record also ain't too great. But first here, yes, this is true. From Salon, Lauren Boebert's husband did jail time for lewd exposure in a bowling alley. And she was there. This is in 2004, and yeah, I'll link to the uh, article below the video on YouTube. You can read through it if you want, but that's what he did. Now, he isn't the only one, as Michael Harriet here tweeting out, Remember, Lauren Boebert is the least educated member of the House and has been arrested more times than all the members of the squad combined, more than all black House members combined. 
But here is the best fun fact. Lauren Boebert has been arrested more times than Tupac. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the cut. Like, imagine Ilhan Omar had this record. Imagine. Imagine. Like, the, it's just unbelievable what these people get away with. That, you know, I, I learned this today. <laughs> Lauren Boebert's been there for a while. She's not a well-liked individual, but... Democrats don't bring this stuff up, and maybe they should, because this if they're going to play dirty and make things up about you, the least you could do as Democrats is tell the truth and tell people who these people actually are. So it's unbelievable to me that this is not a, a more, I don't know, well-known story. I know it's been covered before, but it's not harped on. Democrats don't harp on this the way that you see the GOP just make things up about um, people like AOC or Ilhan Omar. Now, uh yeah, just a little more on this. So uh, Bobert and husband rack up arrests in home. So even New York Post covered this. That's back in uh, January. And a little more specific on what exactly um, uh, went on. So congressional candidate Lauren Bobert, who often espouses a pro-police law and order message on the campaign trail, this is while she was running, has been arrested and, and summonsed at least four times over the past decade record show. While the three arrests and one court-ordered summons were for petty crimes, and in one case all charges were dropped, Boebert's record is unusually long for a congressional candidate. Yeah, I'd say so. Now, look, generally, I if something's in your past and you dealt with it and whatever, people are allowed to grow and change and move on. I'm just bringing this up to point out that if this if the shoe was on the other foot, you know Republican lawmakers would be going crazy with this stuff if it was Ilhan Omar or AOC's record. But it's the other way around, and we barely hear about this. It's just, it's, you know, it's good to see a Democrat fight. <laughs> I mean, that's, I think that's what really caught me off guard more than anything, is that there was actually a response to this that went hard. Like, she did not hold back. This is not usually what you see from Democrats, but it was fantastic to see this from Ilhan Omar. 